Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here. Today I'm going to be upgrading a Neo Geo Pocket Color to a glass screen. There are a couple videos like this online, but they were missing some steps that I think are going to be helpful. Now granted, I haven't done one of these before, but I've done screen replacements very similar to this in the Game Gear and other systems. And I thought I'd do a more in-depth, kind of thorough description for folks so they can do a good job. Uh, first quick fanboy moment. I had one of these in the late 90s. I got it at launch. I actually got it at the pre-launch from Fry's Electronics. Very memorable time. This system had such a special place in my heart. Still does. I played the crap out of it in the 90s. It smoked the Game Boy Color. The library is utterly fantastic. And uh, just it's a stellar, stellar little system. So uh, got to give it some love, right? Some tools you'll need for this an X-Acto knife uh, or precision craft knife set, as this one is referred to, uh, can be very helpful with the initial screen removal. Uh, some plunger tools, whatever you call these, these are used for uh, cell phone screen removal. Very helpful stuff. Um, so like kind of a cell phone screen re screen removal kit, you can get those for about 10 bucks, 12 bucks online. And uh, I'm gonna use my hot air gun. It's very important that you don't use anything that gets too hot. This is just to loosen the adhesive at a very at a reasonably low temperature. And I'm gonna use also this air compressor uh, for cleaning out any particles because it's almost impossible not to get little bits of dust or anything in there when you when you take it off originally. And, uh, and then of course, uh, I'm gonna have, as always, just some basic tweezers. Um, and uh, these are just tools that I use for a lot of stuff. So if you uh, are investing in a workstation, I recommend them. All right, so I'm gonna turn on my hot air gun here. I'm gonna put it at the lowest setting, uh, which is 100 degrees C. And I'm just gonna kind of test it on my skin. Kind of do a little skin test here just to make sure it's really not too hot. And it's just gonna loosen that adhesive a tiny, tiny bit. And so the idea, of course, is we don't want to damage that TFT screen that is behind this plastic. And of course, we don't want to melt any plastic uh, either. So yeah, I'm just kind of going around the, uh, the bezel here where the adhesive is, I'm just feeling it with my skin a little bit. Also very, very helpful if you have gloves doing this so you can keep from getting fingerprints on your console your screen, on the inside of your screen especially. All right, seems pretty good. And I'm actually gonna try a different set of tweezers. These are the ESD 10s. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, hot air gun back. And let's see now if I can do this very, very gently. Yes. Um, it's very hard not to get markings on the plastic doing this. But let's see what I can do. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little more heat. That's actually starting to come up pretty nicely. And I can tell it's really because the heat is helping loosen that adhesive. But I want to do it in a way that's uh, a little gentler on the plastic. In fact, in fact, what I'm also going to try to do, which is popular with cell phone removal, is use that guy. Because if I can get this adhesive loose enough, then I'm not going to nick the, uh, the plastic at all. And I don't know if you can tell, but there is a very, very tiny, very hard to spot nick right there from the X-Acto knife that I just used. Because the plastic is just aged and it's very, very soft around this bezel. And I feel like for a lot of folks, that's gonna be just impossible to avoid. But I wanna see if I can, uh, if I can level up this upgrade. And let's see if we can't try to avoid that. Alternatively, um, if you have a thin enough plastic kind of splunger to try to get in there, that could be an option too, but. Yeah, a lot of times that initial removal part, the, the initial removal area, it's very hard to avoid. My lamp likes to fall over. Um, very hard to avoid uh, some kind of little indentation. And uh, 
uh, let's go ahead and bam! Look at that, baby. Worked out great. Pulled it all off in one go after loosening the adhesive. And uh, you can see there's a little bit of blue here. But that doesn't look like it came off on the screen. That might just be a manufacturing thing. Um, cool. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So that keeps us from getting any additional any nicks on the corner. Now I can already see one speck of dust got on there. <laughs> just because it's impossible for it not to. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take off the cover, off the adhesive for this, and then also I'm going to fire up my air compressor to get the little specks of dust and whatnot off here. So I'm just using my tweezers to very carefully remove this adhesive backing on the new glass screen cover. And uh, these, these screen covers, man, they've gotten so impressive over the years. They used to be... Uh, they used to not really match the uh, <laughs> the original very well. You know, they couldn't do like color overlays and stuff like that. But boy, in the modern era, that has all but changed. All right. So just go in very carefully here. And I'm going to leave that this protective cover on the, the front. That peels off at the very end. Firing up my air compressor. You can also use canned air. Not great for the environment, but you can use canned air if you don't have access to a, a full air compressor. Although I do recommend investing in one if you do this kind of stuff. All right. sure we get it really really well make sure the orientation is correct of course with the Neo Geo pocket on the bottom place your new screen down turn off your air compressor because it's loud and noisy give it a nice rub around the bezel there peel it off and you are ready for some perfect glass Neo Geo pocket color goodness Oh, yeah. I used to play cotton on this like nobody's business. I imported cotton uh, from uh, Japan when it came out, actually. I found out it was the, uh, the only shmup on this system, and I played the crap out of it. But, of course, because I played the crap out of it, I'm trying some, out, some other games that I haven't played as much, with the exception of the other game that, of course, I had back in the day, uh, quite possibly the best portable Sonic game ever made. And I say that having a deep love and respect for the Game Gear of Sonic the Hedgehog Library. But this game, oh yeah, this game rules. And you gotta hook it up to your hi-fi as well because Neo Geo Pocket Color sound is the bomb. All right, folks, well, that's it for this one. Have fun playing some Neo Geo Pocket Color. You know it's awesome. If you slept on it back in the day, now's the time to wake up and play one of the best handheld systems ever made. This is Sega Sonic Fan losing his rings. Signing out. <laughs>